Why, no, there is no makeup on. And there's no tea right now. Not even sure I'm going to do a tea opening. Maybe. Probably. But I know what I am going to be opening. Something I've been waiting for. Something I'm excited about. So, it's here. So, hello, and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says, create a life you heart, which I thought was very appropriate for my topic today. We are creating a new life in our new apartment, and we're going to discuss where we're at and where we're, what some of my plans are and what's going on with the husband and the food and all the things. And um, so I thought this was an appropriate mug for all of that. And in the Life You Heart mug is a tea from our August Sips By. This is the Sipping Streams Northern Serenity. This has uh, cacao bits, mint, hibiscus, and vanilla, all organic. Remember, this is one of those ones where it's a short one. I am going to try to rush through this little intro thing very quickly so we can get to making the look. We visited Costa Rica today. Anyway, so just give it a sip and we will get started. I can smell the mint already. Okay, mostly I'm eating my sugar, but I'm getting them in. It tastes like it's going to be a really nice tea. Uh, this takes uh, three minutes to steep, so even with this being one of our shorter ones today, it, it should work just fine. So like I said, today we are visiting Costa Rica with a new palette for this beautiful look. And we're going to be talking about um, after the move, essentially, where we're at right now, what's going on, and what kind of plans we have, and all of those kind of things. And if you are interested in any of that, while my feathers go off in different directions, I am easily distracted today, folks. I'm sorry. But uh, if you're interested in any of that, including this look, just keep on watching. So as I said in my little intro clip, my little goofy clips I do, uh, we are opening this package. And I'm kind of surprised that the company has changed to this instead of the boxes or the pink bags or anything. But this is from Nomad. You should recognize their traditional brown paper wrapping. Let's see what the little sticker says. The little sticker, oh, this little sticker shows on the slope. So that should give you all a hint as to what palette this is. There are two of them, one for me and one for my daughter. So I'm going to tuck the one for my daughter away. So pretty, so pretty. This is the new Cloud Forced palette. Isn't that adorable? Um, the box has cutouts. This is one of those rare times when you may want to keep the box. It's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, ah, so excited. I would have preferred a better bubble wrap or something around it, but it looks like it came intact. I'll have to check my daughter's later where she can check it. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so that is, oh my God, look at this purple. Look at this purple. Pink. Oh my goodness. That color is so gorgeous. Those are all mattes too. The shimmers are, the shimmers are pretty too, but these are some amazing mattes. Oh, oh it is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. We are having a lot of problems getting this thing started. What I'm going to do right now is go and try to solve my issues and go ahead and get ready by putting, you know, oh my, I'm not a, remotely ready for this, but I'm going to go ahead and put my primers and bases on and then I will come back and we will get started on using this. Interesting how in that entire time that I was getting ready, nobody interrupted. 
Not once. Anyway. All right, so I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. Um, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. I got kind of an idea, but there are so many colors in here. So many colors in here I want to play with. However, we're going to be good and uh, not try to put the whole thing on my face. Tempting move. And of course, as soon as I started, I got interrupted. <sighs> anyway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start talking about what I'm supposed to be talking about instead of the pretty palette, which is what I just, I'm, I'm really, it's a pretty palette. <laughs> anyway, so last time I did a Dami, uh, Dami Bite, we talked about the move and all of that, but uh, so now I'm going to try to catch you up to where we are now and plans and all the things. I'm trying not to cover things up so you guys can see. So we are relatively moved in. There's a few boxes here and there. There are still things missing. The coffee mugs are still boxed. Um, I have to get a... I had a plan for the... Um, for a uh, setup on my wall for shelving for the coffee mugs and it's going to be too expensive, so I've got to find something, in, at least in the meantime. And um, I have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work. So right now, there are a few things that do need to be uh, unpacked and figured out. And I've just not gotten to the ones that are, you know, my responsibility. Uh, there's a few things that my husband needs to hang up. We have a lot of stuff that we wanted to put in the hall that hasn't gone up yet. There's a lot of pictures that are supposed to go up in our room that haven't been put up yet. And, um, but overall, it's a functioning, a functioning apartment, so, so to speak. The stuff that's most important is out, other than my, some of my missing baking stuff. Which, honestly, because of how weird it is that that stuff is missing... Uh, it might be in with some of my coffee mugs. It's kind of strange because I thought I put them in a small box together. But it is quite possible I'm misremembering. I don't have a very good memory. So um, I'm just hoping that when I finally get to the point that all the mugs are unpacked, that things like the missing vanilla, which were in uh, uh, glass bottles, um, so it wouldn't be entirely out of weird if they got put in with the coffee mugs. I mean, they're not coffee mugs, obviously, but they are glass, so they had to be wrapped. And, um, honestly, there's not a whole lot up, that was up there that had to be wrapped, so it's quite possible they landed in with my, um, coffee mug somewhere. And that just means it's just a matter of unburying them. And, uh, we're working on that. Um, in the meantime, uh, most of my coffee mugs are going on a table over here, off to the side where you can't see it. And uh, so I've just got to look for some alternatives to what I had planned that are a little cheaper. Oh, I came up with this color. <laughs> That's funny. The color I put above my brow <laughs> practically matches that color. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be different. <laughs> this one will be shiny. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we've got that done. We still have a few of the actual um, final things that mover, moving people have to do. We, like we still have to go in and get our IDs with our new address on it and little things like that. I say little things even though the time for that is about to run out. Uh, I guess down here you have about two months to do that. So this next month is, um, we have to find a way to do that, which is going to be difficult because one of the things that's still a problem for us right now is the finances. The finances are just still kind of a mess. Um, and it's not just the move. Uh, we had, uh, we had, um, so our first month's bill for our electricity was not that bad. But then the following month, the um, 
temperatures started hitting the 90s, going into the 90s more frequently. And when I got that bill, I about fell out of my chair because it was only two extra days, but it ended up being double the cost. And the only thing I can think of is, um, like I said, that the, um, the temps had gone up, so the air conditioner was struggling even harder to keep up with keeping us cool. I really wish it hadn't done what it did. But anyway, so we had a setback with that on the finances. I had to pay that off in um, increments. And then, as uh, most of you know by now, um, Yuriko passed, and or we had to let her go. Uh, her feline leukemia had um, kicked in, and I, I guess I, I, hers was both strange and I don't know. It just it hit, and then she was eating one day and she seemed fine and then the next day it just all fell apart she just immediately stopped eating we took her into the emergency room and in the time period that we were waiting to see the emergency vet um, her lungs started filling up with fluid and so by the time the vet saw her it really was too late to do anything for her sadly so, I mean, it's just like this thing hit. She wasn't feeling well for a few days. We thought everything was gonna be fine, but she wasn't showing the same symptoms as the other two kittens who hit all the time, weren't eating, weren't drinking, um, were losing weight, were, I mean, it was just, it was so different. I think she just was such a fighter that she just kept fighting it. And then it just became too much for her to handle and um we took her into the vet and we let her go and that cost about two hundred dollars so which is honestly not horrible we've seen worse bills for <laughs> putting a, an animal to sleep for good reasons um but it still cut into a limited budget that was still trying to recover from this move and this it cut into this the money I had for this huge electric bill so we haven't been able to take care of some of the extra things that cost money that need to be done um, we're still playing a lot of catch up on groceries and a lot of that has to do is with us now being uh, more in the city and the groceries um, down here apparently costing quite a bit more which is it's irritating. It's appalling. It's irritating. But so we've been still doing a lot of catch up. We're still doing a lot of playing around. We are still um, working on the things, all the things. And then, of course, I've been spending money like a stupid person. <sighs> stress, babies, stress. So financially, is still a wreck in this house for a lot of reasons. Um, most of the stuff I've been buying, I've been buying on afterpay, and I haven't had to make first-time payments, but of course now those payments are all going to start catching up with us. And um, so yeah, the money has been, this isn't going to work, the money has been a bit on the stressful side, so. But, um, and then on top of all that, <laughs> Um, my husband's job closed for a bit, not permanently, they're about to do a, a reopening, but they had planned to do some other stuff, and they had to close and um, revamp the, um, the building, <laughs> the room, the space, and so his hours got cut, everybody's hours got cut. I mean, we're very lucky that... He's one of the ones that they kept because um, they ended up firing a whole bunch of staff because they weren't going to need them anymore, which I found to be wow. Um, yeah, wow. But, of course, 
Okay, so this one is acting more like a topper. Is it supposed to be a topper? She coming up as pigmented. What's going on here? She is shiny though, she's pretty. Uh, but anyway, so there was, you know, so we're still in the middle of all that. They're gonna be, at the time of the filming of this, um, which is the weekend over the 26th, I think. Um, they are getting ready to open next week. But he's got had a couple of short weeks, then he got another nice big week, and now he's about to have another couple of short weeks. And on top of that, he and my son are supposed to be going to Dragon Con. I'm wondering if that is duochrome. It's acting almost like it's a duochrome. Because I can see that shiny green. And then when I turn a certain way, it changes, the color changes a little bit. At any rate, so um, the smaller checks are also impacting our finances. Um, he and the boy are going to con. We are actually not paying for anything for, for that, I don't think. We better not be because I have no money. <laughs> um, but his dad has been um, paid for the tickets and um, just sent some N95 masks. I think that's what they are. They're the other masks that for a while were hard to find that everyone was saying was the best masks. Um, so he sent some of those because even in the science fiction and fantasy community, you've got people who are like, science? No, COVID's not a thing. It's not that serious. Really? You sure about that? <laughs> That's my response. You sure about that? Okay, this shade, I don't think I've ever had a Nomad shade give me this much trouble with a wet sponge but at any rate so there's a lot of money things still going on that are very very stressful and um, but that notwithstanding I will say other than a brief stint where uh, I somehow was off my iron for at least a couple of days. <laughs> That's terrible, folks. It is. For me, it is really bad to be off my iron. I get slow and draggy, and I probably should explain that to people who don't know. Uh, so we're going to go back in time. When I was a single mom, and in college to try to get a degree so that I could, you know, take care of my kids. I mean, you know, single mom. Um, I was literally burning. I was, I was burning the candle at both ends. I was getting up at six in the morning and I didn't eat. I would go to school. If I actually had funds, I would like, uh, I would, um, Oh, they both do it. I would uh, get some lunch if I was lucky. Uh, when I met my husband, he always tried to make sure I got some lunch. I was uh, very busy with the schooling and I wasn't eating. And if I came back, when I came back home, it was usually closer to midnight. And then um, the lady that was helping with my kids, um, she usually had something set out for me. So I, that's when I would eat an actual real meal. And um, so I went for, I think I did that for like 18 months to two years. And uh, somewhere in there, two things happened. The first thing is I finally got diagnosed with ADHD during that time period. And the second thing was, is that apparently because I wasn't eating and I was doing all that stuff, um, I drained my iron reserves. My doctor put me on supplements, which seemed to help. 
and then he took me off the supplements sometime about the time that I started going to my second college to get my bachelor's degree. I was going to get a teaching degree. I was going to go teach. And at the beginning of that, or about a year and a half or so in, my iron crashed. I didn't realize that my iron had crashed. I just knew I felt tired. And then I came down with the flu for about three months. And I had to take a uh, leave of absence from the school. And when my doctor checked my iron levels again, he said I was lucky to have anything in my bone barrel. So from that point on, I've been on iron. I've been told I will have to stay on iron for the rest of my life, um, not to expect to ever be able to be off of my iron. And um, so yeah, that's a whole iron thing. Uh, so I was off the iron for a couple of days and I started dragging and not feeling so well, feeling sick. And I should have realized what was going on, but because I'm usually so consistent with my iron, I didn't. <laughs> and when I got back on my iron, I started to feel better again. So that was probably the only time, oh wow, that's pretty. Uh, probably the only time I really, really had a major problem living here. The stairs have been crazy. But I am apparently, they are apparently starting to finally help because I don't know if anybody knows, people who walk, follow me on Facebook know, I used to not be able to do both the farmer's market and the Kroger parts of our grocery, ship, grocery trips walking. I had to have a um, one of those electronic carts for the grocery part of it. And just recently I finally was able to do both. So I attribute that to the stairs because Good Lord, those things, they still kill me, but they're at least doing something positive, right? So everything is pretty much settled in that way. And I feel pretty good about, um, I mean, like I said, we still have a few things to unpack, but we are, we are pretty much settled in. I think I need to find something sparkly to go over that, but not necessarily from here. I might try to put some of my highlighter over that. This blue is so pretty. Especially, I blended it. Look at that. This color for the crease is gorgeous. I love that. I love that. This this palette might actually get me to do an all matte look, matte look at some point. Because this is really pretty. Ugh. Anyway, so those were the... Those have been the bumps, you know, mostly it's just been money and stuff like that. And then also just trying to get up the, I guess, the motivation to, uh, you know, finish up the last of our unpacking that we can unpack. We have a whole, we have a couple of closets full of things, but there's no plans to unpack those soon. Um, and like I said, for like my coffee mugs, I need to get, uh, some kind of shelving unit or something for those to um, be able to pull all those out. Oh, that's just so pretty. But uh, other than that, we are, we're actually doing very well here. I think we're all pretty happy here. And um, we are working on some boundary issues with the granddaughter and my son. But, um, cause they used to, she used to come and visit and she would end up spending most of, I mean, there was only one bedroom for all my kids at that time. So they would all spend that time in the same bedroom. And so she was used to walking into the room because that's where she had to stay. And now we have to tell her to not go into his room if he doesn't want her to and vice versa. So we're working on a few boundary issues that they haven't had to deal with before this but that's small stuff it really is everyone seems to be much happier at this point with their space and um just i don't know i know for me the sunshine there's so much sun that the sunshine is really helping uh, i do have a undiagnosed bit of sad i think um the other place had its ish other issues but one of the big things over 
that the old apartment was the apartment we were in had really no light of its own and um the covered porch just it was covered so any sun that would have come through those windows couldn't and uh, so the only room that i think in that in that apartment that really got some good sun was the kitchen and but this apartment i wake up and there is sunshine coming through the bedroom window i can come downstairs and there's sunshine everywhere so i'm always being charged up with sunshine which is really really nice when i mean as long as there's no storms <laughs> of which we've had quite a few <laughs> you all know uh so everything we're finally i feel like we're finally at a point where i can start um trying to settle things the uh settle into a schedule and all of that it's been very all over the place of late i mean you know just standard the moving in was all over the place uh the the changes and transitions uh, at my husband's job also tended to make us go kind of you know those were all over the place for a bit but all of that looks like it's about to settle and I can start working on some schedules. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get regular on Instagram. Um, I did a couple of lives. They've all been empty. And I know that's a lot of that has to do with I don't have a big following at this point. And um, I'm inconsistent. But um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to try to do that. I also want to did a, a Facebook live the other day and realized how much I missed it. Uh, again, there was not a lot of people there, but again, I haven't been consistent. I haven't been there at all really for quite some time. So um, empty chat rooms are not unexpected and um, I'm... I want to get back to something regular over there, although I don't think it would be weekly. I just I don't think I have the time to do weekly, especially since there's other things I need to start taking care of. Uh, we're trying to get back into doing chores. Um, when we were moving, we were a bit more lax about chores, and now I got to get my son back into doing chores. That's proving to be a bit of a challenge, but we're we're working on it. Hi, Sora. Hi. Um, but the big thing is that I want to do is I want to get back to my lifting. Now that my husband has regular, it looks like he's going to have regular days off. I'm going to finally be able to get back into that. And I'm so looking forward to that. I really, really am, you guys. Um, I'm not big on, you know, I used to hate exercise. I was, I was one of those kids that did, was always picked last and all the things and um, so for the longest time I hated exercise and um, but from home I feel comfortable I don't have anybody judging me I don't have anybody telling me I'm doing something wrong I don't have so I want to get back into it I've been kind of missing it um, I need to do it because I want to get back into my baking and stuff eventually and to do that I have to get my back strong again and right now my back is a mess and uh, so it's one of the biggest concerns to get me back on my feet 100%. So I've got a plan. I'm going to try to start, like I said, this is over the 24th. So over the next week, I'm going to try, week or so, I'm going to try it out. We, like I said, we have con coming up. So that's, um, well, they have con coming up. So that's a difference that um, uh, it is going to be a bit of a difference because nobody will be here. And that's different than what it would normally be, you know, on any other given day uh, over the weekends. I would have at least my son. And it sounds like uh, at least one day this upcoming week, I won't have anyone here. So if it works out that one day, that doesn't mean anything because on the days after that, the weeks after that, it could completely fall apart. But I've got a plan to get it started get started on those workouts so I 
tried to hide the colony. I think I got most everything. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I honestly think a lot of what's been going on with my skin has been stress. I think I mentioned in another video that I don't know what's been going on with my skin, but you know, I think it's been stress. We just had a lot between the money, the move, the money, and a few other things. It's, you know, the cat and Yuriko and just stress breakouts. Not having a stress breakout would be a surprise, right? But, um, so I've got plans laid down for that. I've got um, enough, I think I finally have enough ideas that doing the three days a week for the videos for here isn't going to be a big deal. Not gonna... I'm not, I shouldn't run into weeks where I'm gonna have a problem covering, doing that coverage. Especially since the holidays are coming up and that means a lot more releases for the, for the release uh, videos that I do now. So we got those coming up, and I think I got that all worked out. I think I've got most of my filmings will end up being at night, which is kind of disappointing because I really like being able to go out in the sun and get a photo in the sun of the looks I do. But um, I don't know. I think the pink should have been further back, but maybe I can fix that. We'll see. The fallout was mostly the glitter stuff honestly. But uh, anyway, so I've got that figured out. I've set down a tentative plan for my workout days, three days a week. The only thing that's a problem with that in any way, shape, or form is that our floors are like a vinyl type thing, so they're very slick. So I can't really do much on the floor directly until I can get my mat. And my mat's about $110 when you add in shipping and all that other stuff. And um, it's a big, like, five by six type mat. So it's not a little itty bitty yoga mat. And it's extra thick. And I have it extra thick because my back doesn't, doesn't take to hard surfaces very well. So I've got all of that. I, I need the mat before I can actually start working on the floor. So right now what I'm going to do to... Um, I'm going to see if I can pull that pink out a little bit. It might not work with the color, that blue that's already there. Um, but anyway, um, oh, it kind of works. What I'm going to do while I'm waiting to be able to afford my mat is I'm going to do the exercises on the couch. Um, that's going to mean that there's not going to be quite as much um, work on the core as I'd like but I have options for that I have ways I can oh I think that worked out better okay yeah taking it out helped I think I think taking it out helped a lot anyway um but anyway, the, the thing with the, the reason I want to use my ball and be on the regular floor again, as I was going to say, is when you're on a stability ball, it rocks. So it forces you to use your core to stay stable and straight. And a couch doesn't provide that particular benefit. So I'm hoping that uh, sometime in, not September, there's no way it's going to work in September, not with all the uh, setbacks we've had in August and, and, the, and the July cooling bill. <laughs> but um, I'm kind of hoping that um, maybe in October, possibly in November, we'll see. Um, kind of hoping that um, things will stabilize enough and I'll be able to purchase the mat and be able to do my thing on the mat like I want. Um, we'll have to see. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that um, can happen. We still have, we have the car has to be smogged and hopefully nothing's broken.
because I can't afford to repair anything. But the car has to be smogged and re-registered. The registration isn't that bad. The smogging isn't that bad. It's just a matter of whether or not there's going to have to be repairs. We are going to hope that there are not going to have to be repairs. Because that would be a mess, right? Get back up there. You are not turning beige. So, i, I got to say, the only problem, I'm really enjoying the um, Profusion Foundation. Right now, my only problem with it is it's really perfumey. And I can usually feel it around my nose quite a bit longer than I would like. So, I'm hoping in uh, October or November that I can get my mat and uh, start working on the floor like I'd like to. My stability ball is already ready for me. So, um, yeah, so that's... I think that's it we are one of the things we are doing as a family a bit I, my husband's struggling with it a little bit is and I do have an update on his on what's going on with him too um is we are starting to try to go a bit more vegetarian uh here we got this huge meat freezer <laughs> and now we're going to be trying to buy less meat <laughs> But, um, I mean, seriously, it's, it's too expensive. And so um, we're trying to cut back on our meat. And like I said, he's struggling with that a little bit. But um, hopefully he'll find his way on that. And speaking of the vegetarian, because the last meal he did on here was that uh, vegetarian meal. I think he's going to try to do that again at some point and see if he can do it with less spice and see if I like it that way. I really did like the flavor of that. It was a stuffed poblano. Chili relleno. Um, I really did like the flavor of it. It's just that heat kicks, kicked in so quick. And then all of a sudden you've got the heat and the heat was too much for me because uh, I admit it, I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm a wimp, I'm a wimp. So we're, we're finding ways to work things out around here. Um, I'm really kind of surprised that the food prices are so much higher, but I guess it's because we're in the city. I, I, I don't understand. Whatever. <laughs> but yes, a lot of the food prices are so much higher out here. Um, and they're not horribly higher. And the fire, farmer's market is not all that different from the farmer's market that was near our place. Um, it has a lot more shit, but also not a lot of the same shit if that makes sense. So like the one up where we used to live um, had certain produce all the time, like durian, I guess. And this one has those kinds of things sort of intermittently. So I don't know. But by the same token, the one up there got figs one year. I fell in love with fresh figs. They do not taste like Fig Newtons. <laughs> and then I never saw any more figs up there ever again. And down here, they actually have figs this year. So I was just like, they've got figs. I don't know what I'm doing with the figs. Something light and easy and, you know, um, light and easy. Simple. Something that doesn't require me to stand up for a long period of time to do it. Um, probably some sort of figs and honey or roasted fig or something. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking at some recipes, so. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like figs. I apparently really like figs. <laughs> she says she really likes figs. But, uh, so the update for my husband, and then I'm going to go and finish my face, and we can come back and finish the talk. I just want to let you know that we are settled and we are okay the finances are still very rocky, but they look like they might sort out a bit after the middle of September, I hope, crossing my fingers. Um, hopefully, we'll see, because we still have to do our update our, our IDs, and we still have to, there's something else, I have to look it up, but we still have some other updates we haven't gotten to yet, and that's just because we've been so busy, and we're running up against the deadline for the IDs, so we got to do that soon, <laughs> but uh, the thing for my husband is, um, 
after Yuriko died, um, he just, she was his. And he found her, he saved her. He did most of the feeding for her. He did all the cuddling for her when she was, you know, I guess she was about maybe four weeks old, maybe. So he parented her mostly during that time. I helped because somebody had to do it while I was at work, but he was the primary caregiver for her in essence. So she was his cat and she was his Sue cat when he was doing, started doing the um, plating on here. So when she passed, it's, it's no surprise that it was really hard on him. And um, he just knew that he wouldn't be able to do anything for August. And um, we started, finances are a bit of a bump right now. There's some things he's started talking about doing, but the finances are the bump in the moment. So he's getting there. He's about ready. He's talking about doing dishes and stuff, so he will be back. And, um, but I wouldn't expect a, a plate until September, um, a plating until September. And that's fine. He needs that three or four week break to, we need it to get the, you know, to get the food for what he wants to do. And, um, I think that first filming is going to be very hard for him because she's not going to be there. So just be patient. He is already talking about things. He is talking about things and wanting to do things. And, um, yeah, so just be patient. He is going to do it. He hasn't given up on it. He's just, he's really missing her, so. But, so I just want to let you all know what's going on with us. I am going to go and finish the rest of my face and come back, and then we can wrap things up and do all the things and all of that. So, for you, it's going to be, for me, it's probably going to be another half hour. <laughs> But I will see you in just a few. Alrighty, so here is my finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and come close. I think I'm already falling apart in the inner corners. I did try to fix it. Uh, however, my eyes, you know, once it starts to go, it starts to go. I think I did a little bit better on the liner today. It's not such a big freaking mess as it's been lately. I've been having issues in the crease that's all uh so my thoughts on the palette and the look and then we can get into a few other things um <clears throat> there are some differences in this palette that i'm really kind of surprised about i guess would be one thing um but uh overall it's a beautiful palette i think it's um i'm going to have to test this color or let's not do that i'm going to have to test now I can't find it. I'm going to have to test this color like across my lid or something. I, I think I went too bright on the pink. I don't know. You'll have to let me know if it really works in there. I was trying to get some of the pretty colors. I could have actually, considering some of my sequins are purple, I probably could have used the purple. Underneath my eyes, I put this and then I put this and then I put this along the lower lash line. Um... I used something, I used a, a shimmery yellow from a ColourPop from one of my Biop palettes to get that inner corner. Uh, overall though, I'm pretty pleased. I, it's a Nomad palette. It's really hard to disappoint me with a Nomad palette. I just have that question about that one color and that's going to be easy to figure out. So we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll just put it across our lid one day and I'll find out if it's uh, actually shifting or if um, it's more of a topper. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so uh, about our topic, uh, like I said, we are actually, other than the finances rocking up uh, quite a bit lately, um, not settling the way I'd like, uh, we're doing pretty good. I mean, it's kind of hard that we lost Yuriko. Everybody's still really sad about Yuriko. I mean, she filled the house with her presence, the apartment. Um, I still sit upstairs sometimes, think, waiting to hear her jingle, and uh, it's just not going to happen, obviously. Uh, but um, yeah, we're we're missing her, but I, I think we're we're not to the point where we can pick up another cat anytime soon. But I, I think we're less shell shocked and more we're we're easing into okay. This is this. She's not here. 
we're grieving it, but it's we're, there's less expect, expectancy, if that makes sense. I have uh, plans to work on my health again. Uh, I delayed that for a while. I actually really wanted to get started with that much earlier than I have, but I delayed that mostly because I thought I would be able to pick up the um, the mat that I want to get, and uh, it's probably a good thing that I did delay it because, like I said, it's just it's been chaos. Uh, but the good news is, is even though uh, other than the bump with the anemia. Uh, even with the chaos, I've been able to uh, kind of work my way around it without getting too flustered, which is actually pretty amazing uh, with the ADHD. Um, the ADHD is on high today. I'm, I'm like picking at stuff that needs to be picked up and I really should ignore, but uh, you know, it's it's the ADHD. So <laughs> that's just how it is with, with me sometimes. It's all me. It's all me. But anyway, so we're doing pretty well, and I thought I'd let you all know that we're doing okay. Uh, you can get more current updates over on Facebook. Uh, I'm Domino Loeb or Denise Loeb over there. Pretty easy to find. I'm public. Probably shouldn't be, but I am. Uh, I haven't had too many problems, and when I do have problems, it's really easy to just delete people and block them out. So Feel free to go over and take a look. Like I said, we keep everything I keep everything public it's been a while since I can't remember what we were last talking about to make a good wrap-up I guess that is about as good wrap-up as it can be uh, I can't think the kid is doing great he's um, he celebrated his 29th 30th birthday um, this month and um, we still tease him about his birthdays but he got to go with his uncle and and uh, spend some time with his uncle and go do some things with his uncle and uh, he got some new games and yeah so things are are they're they're doing what they're doing and and we're pretty I think we're we're doing okay but we've got we've got a few things that we have to deal with obviously but you know it's the house the apartments the house the apartment is more comfortable um, I think we're all happier here even though it's a little bit more expensive in terms of, I mean, the rent is higher, but it's not as high as it would have been. But in the terms of like the groceries being more expensive and stuff like that, um, I think we're still, we're all um, content with the change, so to speak. And so we're all just doing really well. So anyway, so that is it for the day. And I hope you like the look. We visited Costa Rica. Yes, we did. It's a very pretty look. Moving right along, I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe. We do not do um, Get Ready With Me's nearly as much as we've done them over the last month and a half. A lot of that was just getting ourselves settled in and trying to get some content up. That's it. Um, hopefully in the future, we're going to be having a little less than that. In fact, I can almost guarantee it because... Uh, with the finances that I've mentioned, I cannot buy all the shit that I've been buying this last month. So there'll be fewer of those. If you're not into the Get Ready With Me's, there will be a few other videos going up. My husband does food. My son does a Geek, geek Fuel t-shirt thing. And we're waiting on his first graphic novel um, subscription, his first month for that. So if you have not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. And when you do, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload three days a week. That would be one day, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. I can talk, really. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. If you choose not to subscribe, I do hope you will come back. My husband will be putting up some food towards the end of September, hopefully. Hopefully. We've been talking about it. Like I said, we've been talking about it. So you can go and check out his uh, food videos to see if you're interested in those. Uh, my son does his geeky thing. So hopefully something in our content will interest you. And even if you don't subscribe, you will still come back to see those things. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, so this has definitely sat here for the amount of time that it says. I'm really hoping it still tastes nice, but we got more of the tea flavors and less of the sugar flavor. 
which I have been trying to cut cut back on. So let's give it a sip, and we will get oh, and we will be on our way. We will get started. We've already done that. Now we're going to be on our way. Okay, you mostly get the mint. You said there was carob in here. Cacao. Mint, rooibos, and vanilla. I said something else earlier, but it's rooibos. I think I said chamomile or something. It's a nice tasting tea. I'm just not getting the cacao. I'm, it's, the mint is light. It is one of the more prominent flavors, but it's very light. So it's not bowling you over. It's not, um overwhelming your taste buds or anything so it's very pretty I'm getting a little bit of the vanilla too so I'm not sure what's going on with the cacao maybe it's in there and just melding so beautifully that it's not standing out to me it's a beautiful tea would I repurchase it it's a nice tea I think I would repurchase this I think I will uh, my bag has been misplaced. I have to find it, but I think this will go in my bag with a couple of others I have sitting over here waiting to go in my bag. At any rate, that's it. Hope you have a good one.